Hello guys. Today we are making an energetic and potentially explosive compound, picric acid. Picric acid is a highly nitrated organic compound. It's composed of a phenol molecule, and it has three nitro groups attached to it. This make it quite unstable and thus picric acid can explode when dry. Especially explosive are its metal salts. For example, sodium or potassium picrate. So let's make some picric acid. To do that, we'll need to measure out some phenol. It's a solid with a powerful, sweet, artificial smell. We'll need about five grams of it. Then we need to dump it in a round bottom boiling flask. And to top it off, we then add 10 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid to it. And lastly, we have to dip the whole reaction vessel in a hot water bath. We now let it heat and stir at a 100 degrees Celsius for a half an hour. So in this reaction, phenol and sulfuric acid react to make hydroxybenzene sulfonic acid. There are more isomers to this compound and we want the para product. We have to heat it because we want to make the para product. After the reaction, the mixture should be an amber-red color. Now we need to chill the mixture in an ice bath. This step is needed to slow down the next reaction, when we will add some nitric acid. This needs to be done dropwise and slowly to prevent a runaway reaction. Gradually, we can see some gas evolution. This is orange nitrogen dioxide, and it indicates reaction progress. Now that we added all of the nitric acid, we can start to heat the mixture. So now nitric acid can nitrate our benzene sulfonic acid to treat enitrophenol, known better as picric acid, but to drive reaction to completion, we need to heat it and stir it for an hour and a half. And a good indicator of nitration is again nitrogen dioxide. We then insulated the flask to help water to boil. After one and a half an hour, we were left with a red solution. On the walls of the flask were some nice crystals of picric acid. But to get all of the picric acid out of the solution, we need to add some ice-cold water to the reaction mixture. Immediately, a lot of yellow crystals fall out of the solution. We then need to add in total about 60 milliliters of ice-cold water.
Once all of the water was added, the solution needs to be stirred in ice bath for five minutes. Then we need to filter the solution to get our product. Picric acid is very poorly soluble in cold water, so it's then washed multiple times in the filter. In the end, we recrystallized our picric acid in hot water and stored it in a glass vial. It should be stored underwater for precaution, as it is explosive. Anyway, we will cover its explosive properties in the next video. Thanks for watching 